I'm Jason. We are here at ERI show in Indianapolis. We're going to do something interesting today. We are going to compare our lithium batteries, both 12 and 16 volt, with a couple of other well-known lithium 16 volt racing batteries. The way we are conducting this test is pretty simple. We wanted to give all the batteries and battery brands an identical scenario under which to perform. How did we do that? Well, the first thing was we sourced a 632 from Oakley Motorsports. This is a 16 to one drag race engine, relatively fresh. What we are looking for here specifically with these tests is cranking speed, so RPM. For that, we're looking at the crank trigger on this. Two, voltage under load, uh, specifically voltage during cranking. Um, which is super important. So in order to do that, we turned to fuel tech. Once we got to the show, uh, Lewis pulled a new FT 700 plus out of his race car. So we will be using that for these tests. None of this would have been possible without Troy Baum of race wires who wired this engine and harness set up on the floor here at PRI. And we are incredibly thankful. This is a really cool test and it gives us the opportunity to show exactly how our batteries compare good, bad, or otherwise with our direct competitors in the marketplace. So let's get in front of our test rig and see how this works. So here we are testing the Go Lithium, starting voltage of 17.1. Let's hit the button and see what we got. can see the screen dim yeah uh the performance of this one is not particularly good we are down at 10 volts um and 185 rpm the next one we're going to look at here is our small battery the p mode of light this one is the 12 volt version and we just want to see how this compares to the other 16 volt batteries so let's hit the button and see what happens Okay, so we are testing a Braille 16 volt Pro Mod battery. It is fully charged, brand new. Uh, we took it out of the box and then charged it. Uh, this is a 16 and a half to one 632 with a really gnarly um, starter. So we're starting at 17.1 volts, and what we are looking at here is voltage during cranking and RPM. And then we are going to compare this against our battery, which is similarly sized. So about 240 RPM. I didn't see what the voltage was. 12 RP? Okay, wow. Okay. You know, again, thanks to Fuel Tech for setting us up with a FT700 Plus. Um, Lewis actually pulled this out of his race car. So this is the same thing. We're just looking at RPM versus voltage. And if you remember, we were at about 12 volts, 2.240 RPM. Okay. So 285 and 14 volts. That's small battery. That's the small battery. Yeah. Wow. It turns out that we've actually maxed out this starter with our small battery so even if you put a much bigger battery in it's not going to spin any faster just because of the gear reduction and the flywheel and whatever else that's it that's as fast as this thing is going to spin regardless of what you do to her so you guys have now hopefully watched all of the individual tests we have posted all of the data both in the comments below it should have appeared on screen um, here are the batteries that we used you know, our sourcing was through retail channels. We wanted to make absolutely certain that we were giving everybody the best possible opportunity to do well in this test. I will let you guys judge for yourself which batteries performed best. Do you guys have any questions about any of this stuff? The methodology we used or why we did one thing or another, please comment, call us, send us an email, whatever the case is, and we hope to hear from you. Thanks again.